Hi everyone, I'm Steve, as you know, maybe. I'm here with Nicole, as you know, maybe, um, the gut girl. And we are doing our one of our weekly interviews. So welcome, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's always fun talking to you. And we, we talk, just so y'all know, we talk a lot more than just on here because we're just fascinating. We're fascinated about all the, you know, the supplements and how the body works and food and all that. So it's always fun talking to her. So we're going to talk about something I do take B3. So I have a lot to say about it, but what would, and we're going to give you, as we get going here, we're going to give you 10 benefits of B3. We're going to talk about different types of B3, but we're going to get 10 benefits and these benefits are solid. I mean, these are big benefits that everyone should want. So what would be your opening statement about B3? It's wonderful. <laughs> but uh, B3 is uh, one of the forms of B3 is niacin. And it's one, uh, it's one of the eight B vitamins that we need in our bodies that we produce. Um, but it, B3 is water soluble. So we don't keep it in our bodies. We don't store it in our bodies. We flush what we don't need. Um, but one of the 10 benefits is it helps convert food into energy. Good food that we've talked about a lot on this, not crap food, but it helps con convert food into energy. Um, helps you, it helps lower cholesterol. It's huge for lowering cholesterol. We were just talking about the benefits of being on niacin B3 rather than a beta blocker. Um, it also helps boost brain function. Are you getting into the benefits? Cause I want to do them one yes, at a time. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, okay. You're so excited. Okay. <laughs> so let's go okay. one at a time. Give me, and, and there's so much more to put into this. This will probably be a little longer than our usual five minutes, but so what's the first benefit? And uh, just let me ask, are you saying these benefits these are in no rent. These are in no order no. on most important. So these are just 10 benefits. Exactly. So not, yes. the first one that you give us is not necessarily the most beneficial. It's just one of the 10. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. What's the first one? The first one is what I, um, sorry, I got, I get going because I get excited. <laughs> it helps convert food into energy. So it helps us break our food down and use it as energy. And that helps our cells, that helps us be energetic, all of those kind of things. Um, now, don't all the bivitam, B vitamins have some, at least something to do with energy? For sure. Yes, absolutely. Yep. So in a lot of sense, for this particular benefit, I like a B complex because that way I'm using all my B vitamins, all of the eight to get to do this for me. Okay, so what's the second benefit? Lowers cholesterol. You guys, this is a great alternative to a beta blocker. Um, it lowers cholesterol. It really helps blood pressure too. Um, it, is, it, it is a really good benefit to having niacin B3 in you. And that's scientifically proven, right? Yes. There's many studies that show niacin will help lower cholesterol. Yeah. Yeah, the bad cholesterol. So what about... And, you know, there, we want to talk about the other types of vitamin B3. So stick with us. We be as excited as we are about B3. <laughs> so um, what is the third benefit? Boost brain function. This is a big one because we all walk around. I, I see a lot of people who have brain fog. One of the things that I do is we look at the B vitamins as a whole, but we also look at niacin in there for the B3 because if you have some brain fog, this is a very good one to kind of get your mental clarity. Okay, how about number four? Repairs DNA. This is, this is another big one because we've done a lot of damage to our DNA. You can turn on DNA, you can turn off DNA. Niacin will help you repair that DNA function to what we have done the damage to. A lot of these things you're talking about is this being a, I know you're, because this is something that I'm really into, this particular vitamin. A lot of this has to do with this being a precursor to NAD, correct? Correct. Because that's what NAD does, all these things. So 
What's number five? It's an antioxidant, you guys. This is a big one. We all need cleaning out. We've all done things to our bodies. It's an antioxidant. It helps clean out the cell so that we can rejuvenate and have new cells repopulate. Again, because of the being a precursor to NAD. That's what NAD Correct. does. Yes, absolutely. D3 is a precursor. So how about six? Reduces blood pressure. It, it helps reduce your blood pressure. Everyone walking around with high blood pressure, this is one of those good things B3 does is it helps us lower this and gets us out of that danger zone. So let me just ask you there, that was number six. And so B3, you're talking about mostly niacin. Correct. The niacin form of B3. And when you take niacin, you get a flush, right? Exactly. So what is that flush an indication of? It's an indication of inflammation, you guys. So we were just talking about this too. Um, if you take niacin and sometimes, you know, you can do this differently. You can take, uh, you know, about a thousand milligrams a day and get a flush until that flush goes away and then back it down to 500 milligrams. But that flush is indication of you have inflammation in the body. Help it to flush it out. Niacin does that. So if you don't have the flush, you're a pretty good candidate for no inflammation. Yes. Now, inflammation, we're talking about number six here. Inflammation causes what? Causes high blood pressure. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. The and inflammation the causes number six. Yes. So, and my blood pressure is dialed in. And at the end here, we'll talk about the type of B3 that I take. I make an exception just for this one particular supplement. But what's number seven? So we're going to get into this a little bit more at the end of this, just like you said. But niacin... There's a different form that we're going to talk about is a coenzyme of NAD and NADP that helps energy to the brain. It helps reduce the brain fog. It makes us more clear. Um, and that's a big one because it pushes, it helps NAD open up that cell and push the inflammation out. Right. And just so y'all know, we're going to talk about NAD and glutathione because that's the huge value of the vitamin by B3. So, and again, because NAD does what? Reduces brain fog. B3, a precursor to uh, NAD. So what's number eight? So this is one that's a biggie um, that I think more people should be looking at for their mental health. It, if you have mental issue problems, psychiatric problems, those kind of things that have big symptoms like schizophrenia, that kind of stuff, those are a, that's a sign of niacin deficiency. So this is when I have people with wildly big mood changes very quickly, I always put B3 niacin in there because that's a sign that you're deficient. Would you say we can conclude again that if you have a B3 deficiency, you have an NAD deficiency? Oh, yes. Hit the nail on the head. Right. So the NAD, everybody, which comes from one place it comes from is the B3, the niacin. That gives, puts energy, the B vitamins, energy, energy in the cells. That energy in the cells in your brain is very helpful. Absolutely. You're taking inflammation out of the brain when you have B3 in there. And, and we can't forget, as we age, we lose NAD, we lose B, and B3 is water soluble. So we need to put these things back in our body for anti-aging, for longevity, for, you know, being on point with our brains, that kind of stuff. Okay. So that was, uh, that was nine. eight. Are we on nine? Well, we're on 10 actually. Okay. 10. That was nine. So how about 10? Skin, it's huge for skin. It is huge. And the biggest, the biggest heavy hitter here that B3 does is it helps melanoma skin cancer. It really brings down the probability that you're going to get that. 
Okay, so let's talk about the different types. So there's niacin, B3, mm -hmm. and nicotinamide. Right. So when, and these are different. These are both B3, but these are different in your body, right? right? And I will say this, I've gotten away from all synthetic supplements and vitamins, but I do take a synthetic B3. It's called niacin, mm -hmm. which is not really the natural form occurring, which is ni ni nicotinamide, but I do take niacin B3 for the inflammation, for the blood pressure, for all the heart benefits. So I've kind of spilled the beans on the two, uh, niacin and nicotinamide. When would you take each one of those? And what's the difference? How, how do, cause you mentioned a bunch of benefits and you kind of lumped them all together. Some of these, right benefits the nicotinamide is better and some of the benefits the niacin is better so go ahead and explain that and i like you i take them also i take both of them because the, the nicotinamide is a precursor is what builds the nad b3 niacin is the is the b3 form that that shovels it into the cell Right. And the, the niacin form, that's where you're going to get mostly all the heart benefits, right? Exactly. Yes. The blood pressure, the cholesterol, the, that's, that's the one where you feel, um, a flush. Yes. The flush is some indication of, uh, some inflammation, inflammation in your body. And so that's kind of a measurement. And, and then the nicotinamide I take at night when I'm uh, in times when I'm trying to really, I want to really boost the NAD, which mm -hmm. we went through a few of these and talked about the benefit of B3 on the NAD. So you guys can kind of put that together. Uh, any last thoughts, Nicole, on this? This gets really convoluted, but the thing to take out of this is that nicotinamide is the precursor. B3 is the one that takes the inflammation out. You need the precursor to help go through the inflammation. Yeah, and it's weird. They're both called B3. <laughs> exactly. It's maybe one should be, maybe one should be B3 and one should be B3 and a half or something. But <laughs> uh, <you> go. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Nicole, thanks for your input. Excited about the next one. Uh, so thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.